Good morning everybody, take four, I have been trying to do this video for the past five minutes but the cat is meow meow, anyway, I'm up and early, car's getting fixed today so I've just dropped that off and I've got a lift home, thank god because it's absolutely belting it down out there, How's every, how, how did everybody's week go, it's Sunday, I'm hoping for a better week this week because this week has just dragged on and I'm absolutely shattered and exhausted. You, I put some cream on so you probably won't see the bags under my eyes. But yesterday evening, I was like, I'm trying, I went out for a little drive. I've been going out for a little drive every night just to clear my head mentally and, you know, just to get out of this house. Because being in, all in the flat, cooped up, don't do your mental health any good. No, Millie, stop being greedy. No. Anyway, so I thought I'd talk about fibro and sleep. Now, I don't know about anybody else, but this is my story. Oh, I've had a... Sh Say hello to everybody then. You know, I've, you know what it is? I've been eating... I, yesterday, I called at the shop to get a milkshake because I had a proper heartburn. So I thought, you know, look, I can't drink pure milk. And I picked up a, a large cookie. And she's after that. I'm just giving her a little bit, but that's it. That's it. Go lay down. Anyway, so I've got to talk about sleep now. This is my story. Everybody's probably different, so pop a comment in below. Let me know how your sleep pattern is. I've had issues with sleep since around seven year old, maybe a bit younger, because I, I, the earliest I remember was five year old. I know it. Isn't that weird? You remember certain things, but you can't remember what you did ten minutes ago. Or yesterday, or whatever I did. Anyway, I can't remember. You see, there we go, brain fog. I can't get to sleep. And then once I am asleep, I'm up an hour. Then I nod off again, up another hour. And that's what all, that's me up, up, up and down all night. And then sometimes I can struggle to get to sleep. And once I'm asleep, I can have about two or three hours awake. And then that's it, up and down. Um, but this past, this past week has absolutely floored me. My sleep pattern is... I swear to God, I just can't get to sleep. Yesterday, I didn't get to sleep till about four o'clock in the morning. I was absolutely shattered. Then I was up by 11. Um, and again today, I went midnight, well, one o'clock in the morning, because I had a bit of tummy ache. Finally got to sleep, then I was awake. Then I was up for half past eight this morning, because I was dropping my car off, and I had to get rid of, get rid of some rubbish out of my car, because it looked like a blooming rubbish tip. Well, not that bad, but you know what I mean. Anyway, so, how do you all cope with your sleep? Now, I'm on medication for my mental health, so some of that does help knock me out a little bit. But, like I said to my CPM, I'm a community mental health nurse, practitioner, whatever you want to call them, I said, my body gets used to medication pretty quick, and I don't want to be on that amount of medication for the rest of my life. But if that's it, that's it, you know what I mean? I can't do what about it. I have been trying natural stuff to get to sleep, but no, I even tried, pardon me, when I first tried it, it kind of helped. Mellow Patch, the Mellow Patch company, that I think I advertised the patches on, the CBD ones and the sleep, the med menopause and stuff. I might give them a little bash, but I think they're probably not working because I'm on medication. I'm having a hot flush right now, so I don't know whether I'm going through the uh, menopause or it does, because I've just been rushing around. I don't know. So yeah, let me know what you how your sleep pattern is, because mine is just like non-existent at the minute. And yesterday I was like, you know, you struggle to keep your eyes open or like that, trying to keep your eyes on. <laughs> but yeah. So I'm just going to wait for my car, it's getting fixed, so that it's just getting new brakes on and, and brake and whatever else needs doing. Yeah, that car's got, caused me nothing but stress. I'm just watching a little bit of Britain's Got Talent and I'm having a brew and then I might try to have a nap before I have to go and pick the bloody thing up. Um, but yeah, and it's a good look, it's about an hour, I'd say about 30 minute walk. If I walked, um, I don't know. I can't even pronounce the street, so I won't be able to get a taxi. Um, anyway, don't matter. 
I'm, I'm not great. I'm not with it today. And also, before I go, this is winding me up as well with the vets that foxes do not attack your animal, your cats. <laughs> yes, they bloody do, because a few nights ago, uh, or a few months ago, because I hear, I saw one last night going near my cat, so I was away. A few months ago, um, I thought it was cats fighting. I'd gone out and a fox had pinned one of my cats down. Luckily, it wasn't injured, it just pinned it down. And luckily, the dog came running out and chased the fox away. Um, but yeah, oh my god, that's so scary. And I tried to think what the foxes would do to your cats. And then someone, obviously, I mentioned it to someone, why don't you keep your cats in? Then you have that issue. Well, if he's not going to attack my cats, he's going to attack someone else's cat. And plus, you try telling my boy cats that the cat go out to play. Because they'll just pee, poop and squeal the house down. Yeah, they're better off outside. Dump out at night. Yeah. Can't be doing with mad hours at 3 o'clock in the morning. Anyway, let me know your point of view. Do you, do you have foxes around where you live? Or is it just my bloody area? Excuse me, language. I've got like a... A reservoir uh, not so far away from me. It's big fields and everything. Uh, but yeah, let me know your. Ah, oh, my wrist. Oh, look at that. I was just holding my phone. And I'm, my hands all cramped up. I can't move my fingers. Oh, ow. Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button if you haven't already, and the notification bell. I'll catch you in the next video. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday and. See you soon. Bye.